Hey guys, Carolina Gamer here. Just gonna take a look at what's in the bag. Oh look, another bag envelope. Let's see what's in there. Hmm. Check this out. Looks to me to be an executor Nat X. Okay, let's see what's inside here. Looks to be a bunch of different cables here. <clears throat> um, you have your standard pin header cables and the regular Nat X and cables. Over here we have the NAT-X. Feels pretty good actually, you know. It's got everything. Button here. Um, got your two plugs for your uh, reading and writing. And your USB plug up here, Mini B. But yeah, I mean it feels pretty good. We'll try it out here in a little bit. Okay, guys, let's take a closer look at the contents that comes with this, um, minus the uh, JTAG portion. Uh, those aren't complete yet. Here is the pin header cable. Um, if you'll notice, it plugs into the NAT X. And then it has your connections for pin headers here. This little bit right here isn't going to come on the final product just for testing purposes. It comes with your two pin headers. Over here is the one that connects to the quick solder pads here. Um, you know, color coded. All are color coded. Um, and again, plugs into the NAT X. And down here you have your color codes. Um, but yeah, that's pretty simple. You know, quick solder these in on the motherboard or the console. Then use the color codes to match them up. And it's fairly easy to do. Here's a cable. I'm not entirely sure what this one's for yet. Um, but it plugs in up here on the NAD X as opposed to the reading and writing for the NAD plugs in down here. This is a. NATX right here LEDs on the back um, LEDs over here one's down there and one's up here um, let's uh, go ahead and look at the console and plug up the pin header cable Fairly simple. Check your connections. Bam, bam. Then we'll plug in the NAT X. This right here is probably this is going to be a little bit more difficult to do one-handed. So I'll try to do it in front of you guys. And that's it. Connect it to the console. Connected to the NAT X, and I'm going to set this right here. And then what we're going to do? Actually, I'm going to set it right here again, so that I can plug in the USB. You'll notice lights instantly. I flip it over on the back. You got four LEDs. LEDs on the front. Let's set it right here. 
don't want it to touch any metal because it doesn't have the case on it right now and then we will go over here to the computer we'll bring up command prompt you'll see how fast that you're going uh, it takes about two minutes and ten seconds to read with the NetX um, that's two minutes and ten seconds and this computer is not that fast the one that I'm doing it on right now it's just a small netbook um, other than that you know have your LEDs on and I'm not really sure what the yellow one's for uh, it just says yellow so I'm not really sure but you can tell that you know it's got a nice little cable that connects into the NADX um, and this right here is not going to be on the final product so you don't have to worry about that uh, plug into the pin headers it's easy to go uh, nice very nice design can't wait to see the uh, final in the case uh, see what comes out of that and then over here again you know it comes with the pin headers you know you have to install these you will need to get some desoldering braid as I'm not sure I'm pretty sure that doesn't come with it the desoldering braid will just allow you to remove the solder from the holes so that you can put your pin headers in um, and then over here you have you know the quick solder ones you just put it on the motherboard this one over here this one over here goes there and plug in your cable here uh, you know fairly easy to do um, should be anyway you know blue to blue green to green white to white doesn't really get any easier than that uh, and then over here you have your cable that is not been talked about for some reason because I have no idea what it is but we'll find out soon enough and look just finished up see told you very fast uh, Carolina Gamer this is the Nat X from Team Executor get one as soon as you can uh, they're supposed to be shipping out in May so you'll be able to pick up one then and uh, yeah very nice product good build quality uh, very fast at reading and writing uh, doesn't get any simpler when connecting to the motherboard either and they're going to have a JTAG kit coming out so that you won't have uh, a bunch of wires on the top of the board of course mine are already under the board so I could put the pin headers in but Carolina Gamer out